so we have a few new additions to the farm here. We've got two new baby Nubian goats. So this guy was our firstborn. He was born about two weeks ago and we named him Coffee. So he's a little Nubian buckling and Peaches had him. He was nine pounds when he was born and she had a completely normal delivery and so that went great. Um, I was actually inside on the phone and I heard Vincent yelling for me and I just kind of ignored him because I just thought he needed me to tell him where his socks were or something. And he busted into my room and said, Mom, Peaches is having her baby. And so I was on the phone with the electric company. And so I told the lady, I said, I've got to go. My goat's going to have a baby. So uh, we ran outside and his head and feet were already out. And so she delivered him really easily and she bounced back really quickly. Um, and now we are milking her. And then this is ooh, Honeysuckle and um, Cream is her mother. And so she was born at 9 p.m. Uh, all the kids had games that night. And so after Greenlee's game, we were able to get home and I had a camera in the goat house. And so I could see that Cream was pretty uncomfortable and I figured that she was gonna deliver. You see the coming out the backside? No, her yeah. back looks okay. um, um, so we got home and lo and behold, she did. So Honey was born and she was eight pounds and she was also a normal delivery. Cream took a little bit while longer to sort of recover and kind of bounce back, but overall she did very well. So we're milking both of the mamas right now and uh, Peaches has given us nine cups a day and Cream's a little on the lower side. We're getting about six cups a day from her. And then we did end up pulling both babies immediately um, and we're bottle feeding them and that's been great. And we just recently put them out here we have a little spot there where they kind of have some shelter and some hay and then the mamas are behind them and they mm. don't seem to mind very much at all. So yeah, so that's that's what's new and going on here. I just wanted to give you all a quick update. So we're milking twice a day, so now we have dairy on the farm and our plan is to keep this little girl and um, we will end up selling coffee. Um, I'm just not ready to keep a buck on the property yet and I would only be able to breed him back to cream since Peaches is his mom. So um, yeah, we will stick with the buck that we bred with this year and uh, and yeah, so Coffee will be, he'll be going somewhere else which is really sad right now because he's really a sweet, sweet boy. But as they get older, um, they tend to get a little smelly, a little stinky and uh, yeah, a little bit tougher to take care of. I was incredibly nervous to go through the process of our goats having babies on the farm. This was our first time doing this and it was just really overwhelming for a time there. Originally I had thought, well, maybe I'll just sell my goats to my girlfriend or give them to her since she already has some. But as the date approached, I kind of just took it day by day and luckily when they were born, everything was great and perfect and nothing went wrong. So that was fantastic. And I will tell you now that we're at this stage and we're milking I absolutely love it I feel so great that we have dairy on the homestead so now we have meat dairy vegetables and fruit that we are producing here and I am so glad that I actually decided to stick with having the baby goats I was really nervous and in fact now we are going to keep honey and hopefully breed her in the future as well so if I could give one piece of advice to any of you that are nervous about trying something new, I would say just try it. Take it day by day and if everything goes well and you succeed, then you succeed. And if it doesn't, then we learn from our failures. But in this case, everything went wonderfully and we are so excited to have these two little So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the update and um, get to see a little bit of cuteness here.